All right, hey guys, we got another Mega Man unboxing for you today. This is a pretty special set. This is a set of toys you get from like little coin-operated machines, like the things you see at grocery stores, kind of like those, um, from only in Japan. And um, I'm just going to show you the toys real quick. I was about to buy one of these before, but apparently there's actually a bootleg version of these running around the internet, so that's something to look out for. I don't know how I'm supposed to open this. I think I can just cut it around the side. Um, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I'll have a link in the description. To, I found a bootleg listing, so I took the pictures they had listed, and I'll put it, make an album and have it linked in the description so you can avoid the bootlegs. But yeah, um, I had one of these before, which I didn't do a video on. This guy bought a single one, but now I'm going to have the whole set, hopefully. Let's just go ahead and take a look. <clears throat> All right. And here we go. All right, so the way that you'll know that they, you got a real one as opposed to a fake one is the real ones usually come with this little booklet thing here. And also, if it's under $10 or it says $10, then that probably means you got a fake one. So you want to do some close-ups. I'm just going to show you the little booklet thing real quick. Also, if they, they're not factory sealed, they're probably bootleg. Like if it says loose condition or something, then that usually means they are fake. All right, so let's take a look right here. Here are the different ones that come included. You get... Um, are there, there are promotional uh, figures for, I think that's just the first Battle Network game. So I don't know how old these things are. You get Shadow Man, Elect Man, uh, Skull Man, Roll, Proto Man, Mega Man, a uh, Land, and two Mega Mans. So very nice, very nice. On the back, you just get your little registration card thing. I don't even think those are valid anymore. So the first one we're going to be looking at is Proto Man. Very nice quality. Looks much better than the um, bootlegs. Again, you can see those below. It comes with an additional piece you can put on his hand. Uh, I guess I'll open them. Get, give you a better look. Alright, so here's the Pruder Man. With his sword. So some very nice detail for a cheap little toy. I mean, these are like the thing. I don't know how much they'd cost, but... You see, and the paint job's not perfect, but it's still just nice enough. It's a little something to have on your shelf. Even upon close inspection, it's not bad for a little uh, couple cent item. The blade's a little bit bendable. All right. So before this is over a 20-minute video, open up the next one. This is Mega Man without the Mega Buster. All right. You can see, pretty good detail. He actually has eyes. Uh, the backpacks there are pretty nice molding. His legs are a little bit bulgy, but it's not a big deal. As you can see, it's not full color. Like, they didn't color in all the details, but they colored it enough to make it look like a nice display item. Just for you to put on your shelf. As you can see, these things are actually really, really tiny. Um, they're smaller than a Game Boy Advance game. By, like, they're about two-thirds the same size as a Game Boy Advance cartridge. But overall, pretty nice paint job, pretty nice molding. And here we have Lan Hikari. So let's go ahead and take him out. And again, a little bit freaky. His mouth's open, but they didn't paint the inside of his mouth. But not terrible. For a few cents, not bad. The entire set together cost me about 20 bucks, which is a bit much. But I got the entire set, and these things aren't have been discontinued for quite a while. Uh, his backpack's not even colored at all, which is a bit odd. And his back, his back of his... Um, his uh, shirt is not colored either. But again, fine. Get some really nice detail. Because remember, these weren't made to be sold in $20 sets. These were made to be little coin-operated things. All right, well, here's the Mega Buster Mega Man. Cut it open. And here we go. Mega Buster is removable for some reason. I guess just to keep the height down. And there we go. See, pretty nice detail for a small thing. They're not going to be as detailed as Amiibos because, again, Amiibos are made to be more expensive, but still very nice nonetheless. Again, if you want to see what a... If you don't think these look nice, you should definitely see the um, bootlegs. They look terrible. All right, so here is Shadow Man. This is probably one of the actual... I think there's only two sets in existence that have Shadow Man, and this is one of them. It's a bit weird that they have this really long pole to attach his upper body that doesn't seem to even fit super well. I don't want to break it. This feels pretty flimsy. Oh, this is a separate part too. This goes around his neck. 
Um, is this supposed to actually go through? Because I don't think it... W oh, okay. That's a sword. Oops, I think I bent his sword. All right, so this is just supposed to connect right here. I thought that was like his torso part, but it's actually his sheath. That was a little bit awkward, but there you go. Shadow Man, and probably the only figure that you'll ever see him in. There was one more, I believe, from checking out a wiki, but... Uh, I didn't even see a box for that, so I don't know where you're going to find that. He doesn't have pupils, but that's fine. And we're almost done. We still have quite a few to go. <clears throat> Alright, so... In the back, we have her little helmet thing, and this is Roll. The bootleg version of Roll did not even have any pupils, so it's nice to see that this one actually has pupils. Pretty nice paint job. Again, could be better, but you know, it could be worse. Okay, and this comes out. I really wish some of these didn't have so many removable pieces, but still pretty nice. Again, this isn't something you're going to want to be like, you know, staring at up close. It's just going to be like a display item type thing. And... <clears throat> We have Skull Man. I think that's what his name is. I don't remember. He was only in Battle Network 1 or 2. I don't remember. His legs are both separate. Okay. Or it's just his feet. Alright, so. Just slide these on. These don't even go on very tightly. Okay. I don't know which foot's supposed to be which. I guess that yeah, that fits a lot tighter that way, so. There we go. Manual or autofocus. Nice detail on this too. Overall nice figures. Um and here we go. With Elect Man. And it looks like his little um I don't know what they called uh, transformers or whatever on his back. Little electric things get their own plasticing, plastic uh, packaging. That's pretty nice. And here you go. It's a lot neater than the rest of the people. Overall, very nice. All right, and that's it. I thought there was one more. It came with two of these little booklet things. So yeah, if you want to see this again. And yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I think I'm, this is probably, I don't have any other Mega Man unboxings coming up anytime soon, but yeah, just if you want to see them again. Oh man. Mega Man with fists only. Lan. Elect Man. His legs do not move apart. Roll with her thing that just fell off. Her little hair. Fell off. Hair. Mega Man with the Mega Buster. Shadow Man. He's the best in case you're wondering. If you haven't seen the show, Shadow Man's the best. Or play the game. He's not really in the show very much. And we have Proto Man with no mouth. I guess his mask is supposed to be closed. Just like with the second Mega Man. Yeah, both of these have their um, <clears throat> masks up. And yeah. So, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, just a quick look at the, them all together in case you want to see that for some reason. Alright, and I guess I'll see you all later. And bye.